Critical sludge management is very important. In the low and middle income countries, the vast majority of households in urban environments, are, their sanitation needs are met through on-site systems, so pit latrines or septic tanks. But typically when on-site systems are installed, there's little or no thought given to what happens when they become full. In most uh, slums, uh, when toilets fill up, they are abandoned for a number of reasons. One of them can be lack of access to empty it, Another one can be the poor construction such that it cannot be emptied. And another one can even be the lack of the community to mobilize the money to pay for the emptying. But the problem is, at the household level, they frequently cannot afford the emptying fee, and so they're forced to manually empty their systems or hire somebody that can manually empty them, and then the fecal sludge is directly dumped into the environment. Here in Accra, uh, we're, we're sitting right on the ocean where all of the fecal sludge that's that's generated every day is dumped into the ocean without any treatment. It's roughly a thousand cubic meters or over a hundred cesspit emptying trucks every day are, are dumping their fecal sludge um, just up the beach from where we are now. Now the new thinking there is that why don't we try to generate wealth from waste? We're developing waste-based businesses that are using waste for different energy endpoints or agricultural endpoints, making a profit and using the, that profit in those businesses to incentivize alternatives to dumping straight into the environment. If we can create value-added end products, for example, using it as a fuel in industry, then we could create financial drivers to help fuel the whole sanitation chain. Another business model that we're working to develop is using fecal sludge as an industrial fuel. So partially drying it and then using it as a carbon neutral fuel in industrial boilers or cement kilns. What we are looking at in uh, using fecal sludge is to make sure we save the cutting down of trees that is uh, on a rampage uh, because this is the main source of fuel for various industries, for different rural homes. So you find that there is a lot of deforestation. So essentially what we're doing is, is rebranding wastewater and fecal sludge treatment plants as production facilities. So no more are they money sinks, but money generators. And this makes it a lot easier to, to justify or to rationalize building these systems and a lot more financially viable to keep them running.